another important topic about for and dean medicine and the dean pharmacy direction is related to the injection and booming many students have the confusion with respect to the normal culture which is mentioned in the portals and also with respect to the difference between high and the 20 percentage of albumin that we will see clearly in this video just what is this this is nothing but a sterile liquid preparation of the albumin derived from the large pool of human plasma for this time basically a human plasma derivative next regarding the normal culture which is present in the labeling here it is mentioned as 20 percentage in 100 ml so what that means that means 20 gram of albumin is there present in 100 ml of this bottle 5 percentage means 5 gram is present in 100 ml even if they didn't mention this 100 ml if they mentioned only 5 percentage that also means 5 gram is there in 100 ml even if they mention only 20 percentage that means 20 gram is present in 100 ml sometimes the vial might be having mentioned over like this 200 gram per liter this also means 20 percentage only how because 200 milligram is present in 100 ml sorry 1000 ml which is one liter so 20 gram is present in 100 ml in other ways you can say as 20 percentage so this is called the 20 percentage of alcohol and one more theoretical point to mention is the sodium range in these bottles is approximately 132.60 ml equivalent and it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer if we take 5 percentage of lupin usually it might be 100 to 130 if it is 20 percentage it might be 130 to 160 why the sodium is used it is basically a stabilizer to stabilize this alcohol in various formulation it comes then comes the difference between 5 percentage and the 20 percentage which one to prefer 5 percentage and 20 percentage the basic and the first difference is 5 percentage is osmo iso osmotic to the plasma that is 5 gram of albumin since the norm, normal serum albumin is 3.5 to 5.5 gram per deciliter this 5 gram of serum uh, 5 gram of this bottle is nearly iso osmotic that is 5 percent is near iso osmotic 20 percentage is hyper osmotic so which one to prefer ideally we always prefer a iso osmotic solution suppose if volume overload is a concern then a hyper osmotic solution can be preferred because if you have to deliver 20 gram of albumin it can be delivered in 100 ml whereas if we want to give 20 gram of albumin they have to give around 400 ml so that's why for plasma paralysis and all then 5 percentage albumin is preferred or in a cld patient not in severe volume overload isosmotic can be preferred 20 percent hyperosmotic even if you think patient is severely volume overloaded hyperosmotic agents comes with its own set of side effect profile that is cross alteration in the body fluids but only advantage over here is we are giving it 100 ml so it won't affect it much so volume overload if present go for a 20 percentage this is the point mentioned over in the textbooks 5 percentage is automatically equivalent to human plasma when given intravenously it increases the plasma volume similar to the amount in juice this is the another labeling again like i mentioned as 20 percentage 100 ml i want to show the mention over here see what they have mentioned 100 ml of product is automatically equal to 400 ml of plasma that means it is four times as hyperosma than the plasma so this is very important and uh, see the sodium content in this is 100 to 130 the sodium is present in the form of sodium acetyl tryptophanate and sodium capitalate 
two versions at two points I want to show up here. Suppo uh, in most of the time we might let a isosmer solution for the plasma paresis. How to convert this 20 percentage that is 20 gram of albumin to 5 percentage? Just add 100 ml of NS to it, it became 200 ml which contain 10 percentage of albumin. Add equal amount of NS to it, it became 400 ml. Now it is 5 percentage that is 5 gram. So, isosmolar solution this can be given or used during the plasmapheresis or any other indication where we have to give albumin at a hypo at isosmolar as an isosmolar solution. Few common indication of this albumin injection as an is common thing we encounter is a hepatorrhea syndrome at a dose of 1 kg per gram sorry 1, one gram per kilogram of body weight to a maximum of 100 gram per day can be given minimum 2 to 3 days we have to give post parasynthesis and approximately I am saying 5 gram if we are removing around 1 liter of acetic fluid severe hypoalbuminemia and protein syndrome patients in spontaneous factor in is at a dose of 5 gram per kg per day for plasma paresis, post burn and other situations these are all the common clinical situations that we encounter exact dosing regime I am not mentioning here because that will make the video very lengthy what is the administration rate if we are administering 20 percent albumin this have to be given more slowly because it is very high for osmosis so at the rate of 1 ml per minute on an average we have to give over 2 hours because 5 percent given which is the isosmolar solution can be given at a little bit faster rate but ideally we give it an average theoretical rate of 2 ml per minute so on an average if we are giving albumin it have to be over 2 hours and another common clinical situation in is regarding the pediatric dosage the dosage is 1 gram of albumin per kilogram of the child that is the overall dosage and the, it have to be given like similar to adults over uh, so it have to be given over 2 hours and keep it, like, keep it simple over 2 to 3 hours it have to be given and in a uh, child who is having massive ascites the dose can be titrated to target a serum albumin of more than 2.5 gram and a few theoretical points these are all the viruses cleared off before the manufacturer makes the uh, sterile albumin so there is always a theoretical risk of these infections your theoretical point t of this approximately 19 days and the turnover is approximately 15 gram this is some theoretical point and one more point the manufacturer usually mention is the risk of transmission of cjd is also there and it just mentioned as the warning which is very 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 rare in the pregnancy is comes under the category C drug and this is one theoretical table showing the side effect or adverse event profile of the serum injection albumin commonly we encounter is hypotension and sometimes itching rash can be there and these are all the other theoretical side effects common exam question with respect to MD medicine resident is they usually ask for the indication the dosing regimen and uh, if the examiner wants to ask about they might ask about 5% and 20% uh, albumin difference for a DM nephrology resident the dosage regimen of plasma paresis for rejection or TMA those regimens have to be clear of they have to be clear with the albumin dosage they have to be clear with this osmotic composition 20 percentage four times the plasma osmolar pay that is very very important and what is the average price the price of this 20 percent uh, albumin is approximately 3000 to 6000 varies from manufacturer 